hello friends in this video I'll show you one fantastic image color correction editor and uh, viewer that is open source and free for Linux you can download it from terminal it's available in yum so what is the name of that so go to graphics and dark table so this is the software which I'm talking about right now it's very good so let's see uh, how we can install this for this you can go to terminal and with super user yum install dark table that's it if you do this uh, your dark table will be installed currently I'm using CentOS 7 and uh, yes you can download it uh, in my system it's already there so that will show that I already have this as you can see this dark table is already installed and latest version but you can download it like that now let's see how the dark table looks like so dark table is uh, you can search any image to view like open you can open any image to view uh, you can do a lot of color correction and all stuff here like big knitting you can if you can see there all right and uh, output profile grain here you have you can s adjust the level so if you are familiar with Photoshop and GIMP it's similar to that but for uh, very quick uh, it's giving you result and very accurate even you can apply uh, some color correction so let's see if, if you want let's see it's very good software uh, and here you have a lot of other options also uh, like lens correction expose uh, crop rotate first we'll uh, we'll see that how we have uh, all other options here like how we can import folders you can you can go up and you, you can see this image you can take snapshot with that so very handy tool I would say highly recommend for for all Linux users you can <coughs> use this software right now you are in dark room it light table is allow you to select your images dark room will edit that okay tethering is uh, when you attach any your camera DSLR camera or any other camera which is supported by dark table then it will you can shoot live with that but anyway dark room is good for that uh, you can import any folder also so let's say if I have a folder which contain a sequence so I can see these images to and for zoom in and zoom out you can you can see here you can uh, change the thumbnail size with this and of course you can select it anyone you want and you can double click and it will go to the dark room and in dark room you can see uh, change that the color correction and all things you can do now let's go back to light table one fantastic thing which I want to show you here uh, here you can see this file manager and instead of that if you say zoomable light table then it will be like nodes and you can zoom and pan it all entire sequence uh, like like any other node editor so it's very good uh, so it's very handy to select uh, whatever image you want to select and you can do the uh, color correction on whatever thing so this is the test image which I used uh, for previous testing if I double click this it's open here and 
and the and the uh, best thing which I like in this software is uh, you can mask also so again if you are familiar with Photoshop and GIMP to color correct things you can use mask so let's see if I have saturation bit up but uh, let's go for label and here you can say drawn mask in drawn mask you have pretty much uh, options here for for creating mask so let's say I will go with uh, this add path uh, if, if this you can draw path add brush and with this uh, circle predefined shapes and this is elliptical shape uh, this is add path so let's see it's like polygon lasso tool in Photoshop so just make a quick selection all right all right so of course you can adjust that so according to your requirement you can create the mask and inside that mask your changes will apply okay so this is uh, and now if I change this uh, level it will affect the glass and uh, you can see this line dotted line this is the feather line and if I place my mouse here and I will use the scroll wheel and just make it up or you can make it down also okay so this is the edge feather thing so with that you can play with the feathers edge okay so it's very good tool for editing imaging view imaging okay you can view images and of course you can save these images so Darktable is it's free it's open source and available for all of you you can down uh, get more detail in darktable.org and uh, yes it, you can use this tool in VFX pipeline for various uses like view images uh, do some uh, re review some images some color correction on textures like if you if you downloaded a bunch of textures or if you created some textures and you want to just retint that those textures you can easily use that vignetting is also a good part here so like if you are a photo uh, photographer and you want to quickly edit your uh, images which you clicked it's a very handy tool you don't need to go for any proprietary software like Photoshop you can you can do a lot of stuff in in Linux uh, of course GIMP is always there you can go to graphics and this is GIMP here and with this they in game 2 point at the lot they introduced a lot of thing so with the combination of GIMP and Darktable you can uh, you can set up a good image uh, production pipeline okay there are this is not that for this to, um, this software because there are a lot of um, minor things inside that will cover all of these one by one so this is the first basic introduction how you can install this and what is this software just install this software just play around that and once you all have this software then we'll uh, will go deep inside this software and understand more things about this software all right so bye bye